and they are shooting us with missiles, ballistic missiles. They use the vacuum bomb today, which is actually prohibited by Geneva Convention. So, you know, the devastation that Russia is trying to inflict on Ukraine is, is large, but we Ukrainians will resist. We are defending our home. We do not have any other option. We will not get tired. We will not stop. We will not surrender. We will continue defending our home. And it's not only our very motivated and capable military, not only our armed forces, but everyone. I think the Russian troops that Putin sent to kill us already see that they are not liberators. They are doing, they are, they are making crimes. You know, the people who surrendered and people who we have as prisoners of war in captivity now, and actually we treat them much better than Russians treat uh, us. You know, we feed them and uh, uh, we take care of them. And all of them essentially say that they didn't even think that they would be sent to Ukraine to actually kill civilians. They are shocked themselves. So we need more weapons. I mean, we're not asking anyone to fight for us. We are defending our country ourselves. But we need all the support that all civilized world can give us to actually um, continue effectively fighting it. And also sanctions. We believe Russia, uh, which is now acting like Nazi Germany in, during the World War II, essentially killing innocent civilians. Today they shot into uh, a... Uh, again, into not only residential areas, but also the uh, orphanages and schools and kindergartens. It's horrible. They have to pay the price. They have to be isolated. They have to understand that it's not okay in the 21st century to start war and kill people in the neighboring sovereign country.